Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and normally I'm putting up a drone video, but my grandson has been downloading uh, coloring pages uh, off the internet and was kind of running out of things to to, uh, to pick from, so I thought maybe we can do our own, uh, make our own coloring pages out of a picture. And so uh, I did some research, figured it out, and found out there's one, there's four simple steps that uh, all we have to do. My grandson can even do it. So let's get started. I don't want I I'll explain everything else at the end if you want to know why and so forth. So we got our background. What we need to do first is go up and uh, click on image up here. The step number one, image. Come down to adjustments, and then come down to desaturate, which basically means turn it to black and white. Get rid of the color, okay? That's step one. Now, step two, we have to uh, copy the background uh, layer. And my grandson thinks it's easiest if we come down to the little uh, new layer icon, drag that down there, let go. Now we've got a, a second layer. So with that layer, so here we're doing, we're doing step two. We go up here to image, adjustments, and come down to invert. So we're going to change it into a negative, all right? And so that's step two. Step three is pretty easy. We come over to blending, and right there it normally says normal, normally. And uh, we're going to click on that and go up to color dodge. I don't know what that means unless you're planning on painting your truck or something. Okay, so that's step three. Finally, step four, we come up to the, uh, to the menu bar, click on filter, come down to blur, and go over to Gaussian Blur, and there we have that. Now, that's not that's a little bit too heavy duty, so let's slide this slider. And by the way, it takes a few seconds sometimes to uh, change it. So uh, the, about right there, maybe, or maybe a little less. So now that's a page that 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 will make a nice coloring page. So uh, that's that's it. Step four. I'm going to do it one more time for you, just for fun, because I like doing it. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and we'll get rid of that. And no, uh, we don't want to do that. So now we're going to, we'll go ahead and minimize. And let's get a picture of me, all right? And we're going to make a coloring page out of a picture of me. Uh, so there I am. Now we're going to go ahead in step one, we have to go up to image, come down to adjustments, and come down to desaturate, turn it to a black and white. Step two, we have to make a copy of that layer. So we drag it down to the new layer icon, let go, and we've got our copy. And then we go up to image again, come down to adjustments, and this time we come over to invert, making it a negative. Okay, step three is we come down to, <clears throat> excuse me, come down to normal and come up to color dodge, click on that, and it looks like our picture went away, but now we're going to go to step four, Step four is you come up to filter, come down to blur, come over to um, Gaussian blur, click on that, and look at there, that's almost perfect. Looks like we've got our coloring page already. And then, of course, you save it or print it or whatever you're going to do next. So that's four steps, pretty, pretty easy. And uh, I think you could do the same thing with any editor because you're just going to, uh, you're going to um, turn it to black and white. You're going to uh, make a negative out of it. And then you're going to uh, put the color dodge in there. And then you're going to go ahead and use the Gaussian blur. And I think you can do that with any editor. By the way, we better click OK here. And then we, we print it off or copy it or save it or whatever we're going to do. And that's as easy as it is. Um, now, the re here I have to give some credit to, I got on the, see, the reason I wanted to hurry into that is because I got on uh, YouTube and I went through, oh man, way over a half a dozen different uh, videos that claimed, <clears throat> excuse me, that claimed that they could show you how to make coloring pages. And a bunch of them, they just wanted to hear themselves talk, and I wanted to learn how to do it. And a bunch of them, they didn't, it didn't come out very, it didn't really come out looking like a coloring page. So, uh, so that's why I found this one, and I'll put a link to it uh, in the description. Uh, he goes into a lot more. He 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 goes into a lot more than just making a coloring page. But uh, so anyway, uh, uh, I watched what he did, and then I I uh, reduced 
<laughs> reduced it down to four steps and uh, makes, it, makes it a lot easier. So now uh, you can take your grandson or your granddaughter or your grandkids or your kids and make your own uh, coloring pages out of photos. And, of course, my grandson, first thing he wanted to do was go get his, uh, his Transformer books and use my phone and take pictures of the picture, pictures of the pages in the Transformer books and uh, make coloring pages <laughs> of his Transformer pictures. So anyway, there's, you can, there's, a, there's no end to what you can do um, to make uh, coloring pages for your kids and grandkids or yourself. Because uh, it is kind of an art to be able to color in, uh, you know, if you're not an artist, you just uh, paint and color. So anyhow, that's all there is to say about making your own coloring pages. Next video is going to be a drone flying through the air. And so <laughs> we'll get back to normal. I want to thank you for watching my video and God bless.